potato. Fuck it. Great. I gotta start all over again. I'm just kidding. Hello. All right, let, let's evade in three, two, one. No. <laughs> there. <laughs> hello, everyone. Zilla's oh, probably going to get you banned through the copyrighted music. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another session of Saviors of Narsha. I know it's taking, you know, longer than expected to get sessions out, but... This is actually quite tiresome, and instead of bi-weekly, it's kind of turned into bi-monthly. We also have lives out of this! Not no, to you mention, don't. Stop not lying. Not to mention the, the summer heat. You don't have a life. Stop lying, Zilla. Hey, uh, welcome, Dave. Hello, hello. I wasn't hey, actually Dave. entirely sure if you were going to make it, hello. so I didn't want to bother you. Yeah, we have a competent person. Whoa. Hey, I'm competent. So is really? Nam. Do we need to bring our dice roll I incident? never claim I'm competent. Because if I start claiming I'm competent, that'll be the one day that I'm... <laughs> the one day it's all your fault. Exactly. Every time I try to claim that I'm competent, it turns out I'm not. So I'm just not going to claim competency at all, ever. It's worked out really well. You shot See, I, I can claim competency. I just don't claim responsibility. What also, is this responsibility? Exactly. So yeah, you, missed it. It. you missed it, by the way, Dave. I called everybody but me my pets. Interesting. So from where we last left off, uh, the he the heroes had gotten news on uh gotten news on bandits that were slowing the supply uh, supply route towards the current town they inhabit it in. So after a few days of getting everything sorted out as well as the situation of the world, they finally decided to put a stop to it. Or at least it was upon chance that they did. And what they had encountered the Bandits who were just misguided adventurers, Edwin, George, and I'm forgetting my own NPCs' names. God damn it! Been Edwin, George, and Nick. Nick, thank you. And which, after after a severe beating, that they explained their situation. Finding out that it was some unknown person in a in a hood that had given them information that this town was better off than what it seemed. So, in, in a needs to survive themselves, decided to halt the supply supply route to to the uh, town of Kai, which, after bringing them back. They they have been re reinstated as normal adventurers, as well as helping out the town. And which, the supply route, uh, the supply caravan, had just made it to town, which, they will be actually heading over into the capital that, uh, that the heroes are needing to get to. As it's more likely that they'll be able to find more information than they ever will here or in any other town. And so with it, the heroes arise. Good morning. Meh. Mm, five more minutes. <clears throat> Wake up, banana! But there is silence. I'm going to uh, kick the uh, small one off his bed. Ow. <coughs> Was that really necessary? Yes. Probably not, but did it anyway. Uh, I mean... uh... Are you awake now, yes? Awake is a relative term. What are we doing? Uh, we have those bandits. 
and things to deal with, yes? Uh, right. <clears throat> I just need a little coffee. I, your banana, your... I shall also state to the audience as well as the players that weren't here before, this will more likely be a shorter session since I don't exactly have a lot planned. As uh, there isn't exactly a lot I can do considering the um, one the heat and being over exhausted with trying to make stuff. I feel your pain, buddy. I do. I'm still waiting on that list, Dave. I know. Mm, coffee, please. Normal. Alrighty. Yeah. I would like a good cup of tea. Chocolate uh, milk for me, please. Black tea, please. Chocolate <laughs> milk? What are you, five? What's chocolate, you I mean, what's chocolate milk? I, I, I believe he means a strange substance which you uh, grab chocolate, melt it, and add milk to it. Isn't chocolate highly expensive? Very much so. Never mind, then I'll just take water. <laughs> or milk. I, you know, chocolate, I think that's a luxury product, and I don't think so we have that. So it's milk. I, I give the elf a stink eye. Well, at least no, we know you're not lactose intolerant. Okay, I think... Multiverse is having a bit of a hiccup because I'm not able to see most stuff. Yeah, I think the game just. Uh, refresh me? I know that seems to be a little problem. Yeah, my weapon's uh, spawning. One of those In some instances, that stuff doesn't show up for me. I don't. Oh. So, what's scuffed already? Let's go. Uh, okay, I still do have my sword. Oh god, that's too huge. Gosh. Okay, so... There's your cuff. Oh, you'll you'll yes. take that. Uh, what do you want, Oliver? Oh, I'm sorry, was that to me? Yeah, Oliver, what, what did you want it again? Oh. Uh, black tea. Tea. Oh, and this you coffee must be? is amazing. Mm. A cup of tea from me as well, please. Do you have any milk? Fresh milk not required. Uh, we do have a we do have a, a a good amount of it. I would like a milk tea, please. Now, uh, now uh, uh, the real question is: Is there an actual glass of milk somewhere? <laughs> It's it's fine. I can pretend it's a yeah. You just teacup is water. And just... I'll pretend it's a tea cup of tea is milk tea. Yeah, because the, the the smallest thing that's milk related is literally this. Whoa! Let's go. No. <laughs> I got the milk. No. Oh. <laughs> Did he's quite a lot of milk. Uh, did you kill the cow for it? <laughs> well, out of, out of everything here, we got, uh, normal livestock we have. I miss my bird friend. You miss your what friend? I remember the bird I had on my shoulder. I miss my oh bones. yeah. Um, what's with the passed out guy? Passed out. The local drunk. Just Please chilling. tell me he's just passed out. 
he, he's just leaning it's back. It's That's the orc. What the hell of a lean in. There, I can't. There isn't exactly a proper lean in. Oh, oh, he's just leaning against the wall. Okay, it looked. I'm sorry. The way it's. Well, yeah, because the, like, <laughs> there's there's upright. Do this. You can, yeah, you can only snap him in like 15 degree angles. Yeah. So I, I don't have a. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have Man, a, this... a proper way. I'm sorry. Man, this I game is uh, Yeah, no, I, I I'm with you on that one. Like. <laughs> Like, Nam, this yeah, runs that one over there. Again, I'm still limited. No worries, no worries. Nam, mm. you all more or less finish up your drinks. Pay. Uh, you don't really need to pay, as this is more simple enough and as a thank you for uh, you know getting the supplies here whoa i will meet you all on the other side and, and so malsevere touches the plant and gets warped i can warp plants Alright, so where are people going just so I know in advance? So I know who to go to first. I went to the other town. Kai, right? Are we going to Kai? You guys are already in Kai. Oh, okay. Uh, Ma uh, Mousebeer went towards the uh, other town. I'm in Lonwick. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> right, so we took care of the vill- oh, so we took care of the bandits. The bandits are now working for Kai. For the most part. So, yeah, you know what? I'll check in on them. Let's check in on the new village... Idiots. ...employees. Over at the, uh... You're the village know, idiot, Zillow. Well, no, I, I am not. not. Alright, so everyone's... So check in with them at the Adventurers Guild. Because I know they were still worried about the Adventurers Guild because the, the one that they had been dealing with was extraordinarily corrupt. And they were very... Uh, we, we, we dealt with that at the end of last session. Yes, yeah. we did, but it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, however many year, months or years of fear, CERN, fighting is going to go away for these guys overnight. So maybe they would appreciate somebody checking in on them is what I'm saying. So you go into the adventuring guild. You see everyone more or less chilling and waiting for any sort of event to happen or relaxing from a past adventure they just got off of. And which, as well as you see, Edwin, uh, seemingly in thought on, well, in thought. Oh, he's sitting at the table, thinking. Yeah. Hey, Edwin, how you doing? Oh, uh, all of our right. Yep. Okay, at least remember your name. Yes, hello. How have you been? Hendrix. And that one is... I don't remember that one. Jack. Jack. Yeah, you don't oh. know Jack. <laughs> Sorry. Bad joke. I, I give the elf a side glance, so... Hey, Jack, Jill? I couldn't miss this. It was a good pun, okay? It had to be said. So what brought you guys here? G going to get uh, another quest? Yep, yeah, we're getting ready to head out, but we've got a couple of hours, so... 
Uh, we already have a quest we still need to do. So while everybody else was loading up, I must thought we'd buy see how. Yeah. Well, because of uh, because of the stuff that me and my group had before, it seems like that the caravan is seemingly ready to go. So. Since well, if it's ready to go, I we're just uh we're all ready to go ourselves. It seems so. We're just, just waiting on Mouse to be right now. I would expect him to be with you guys. Oh, he ran in there. The big one was with us, and then he sort of just wandered off. It's because I went off to go do the boar quest. Go do the boar. You guys got your quest in the other town. Oh, we did. Oh, for the for the bandits. For the bandits, the and, for the bandits said, and the. He could have said something before he left. Well, I <laughs> did. Oh well. Yeah, you just said you were leaving. Before we left the room, I said we still had a quest to do. Don't worry, he was still he was still sleepy by then. Yeah, that's why we all headed to the town with the caravan, dude. <laughs> yeah, me and my me and my boys are gonna Very be good. trying to settle in however much we can. It's a bit different, so still trying to get used to it. Gonna be different. You guys like need all anything? things, it takes time. Yep. If you guys need anything, just you know, have them sit for us. Give us a poke on when we're next time we're through. Yeah, which we'll try to make things a bit right and try to help help out around. Thank you. People here will definitely. Well, then, if anything, you guys probably catch up to the caravan and, or, well, your friend. We, yeah, we probably need to go catch up to Malsevere. He just, you know, tends to wander off sometimes. We better yep, go catch him. Yep, wander off. So, all right, we're catching up. I catch him. Oh, the engine's breaking on me. Fuck! It's worse than Skyrim! Which go on over to Longwick. Which will stop over to Malsevere. Which we. Oh, we can just go through the uh, portals. In yes. The... In. <laughs> I just read one of the portals. That portal. <laughs> Take us to like the, the top of the tavern. We're to the bedroom. All right. Morning there, Malsevere. Uh, good there, Malsevere. Good morning, Mef. Mefo. So then, how was exactly yesterday, since I wasn't exactly a part of it? Wild ride. Okay. Then, do you at least know the destination we're going to? Yes, we have still got a couple things to do before we go with caravan. Alright, then, then I guess if you need my ha my magic or whatnot, give me a heads up, since I haven't exactly been able to do a lot without trying to explode, expose myself. You're always welcome to come with us, Maxwell. I 
and I see that your other compatriots are here as well. Uh, yes, uh, for the big guy, this one tends to wander off quite easily. I don't. It, it is you who tends to wander more than I. I tend to go the, to where we are needed. You just. You were the only one that went this way. And left us all behind. I told you we had things to do, and I told you I'd meet you on the side, did I not? I didn't hear it. I kind of didn't hear it either. You are all very useless in the morning. Mm. <sighs> Anyways, uh, what are we doing? Well, we need to turn in the fact that uh, the bandits are no longer issue from this side. And we need to deal with uh, boars, if I remember correctly. Boars. Well, should be entertaining, I guess, and maybe we'll get some fresh bacon. Where is the armored one? I told him to get over here. Or to come with us. I'm in the weapon shop! Look at the new inventory! You mean the inventory that's more or less not gonna update because they just got supplies again? Yes! <laughs> Dude! They've had him for a total of what? Four hours? Give him time to make Ooh. shit! Mm. <laughs> RP team! Okay! RP team! Have you made anything yet? <laughs> I really need some arrows! This isn't Dragon Age or Mass Effect, bro! It's just not gonna magically appear out of thin air! <laughs> And again, they just got new. They just got new stock. They're not gonna have anything made. I so, know he's a dwarf, but dude, give the man some time to, you know, give the guy some time to work. And he's only one dwarf. I need everything you've made in the last three hours. Ah uh, yes, Fucking... strange unidentified pile of iron. Fucking here's a butter knife. Go. <laughs> my, my stomach hurts! <laughs> Question, does he have the mighty spork? No, he's not that- he's not that- he's not that <laughs> advanced. The mighty spork? Spork. No, the mighty spork. Oh, spork. He, spork. He's not that advanced in technology yet. Do you know how long it takes to make a freaking spork? Come on! Yes, it takes exactly 6 hours and 30 minutes. I only know this because ADHD bored and access to YouTube. So now, get your, get your ass back here. If I, if there was new stock, I more likely would have said there is new stock. It doesn't hurt to look. It has been <laughs> hours since they got. You are still arguing got... the same fucking issue. There, it has been hours since they just got fucking new materials. <laughs> And you blame me for wondering. <laughs> the art yeah, I mean, you okay, you I, wandered with a purpose, he just wandered aimlessly to the store thinking there might be something new. Oh uh, yeah. There's a distinction. Pebble in the wall. Okay. Dude, it's <laughs> hours and still probably freaking eating up the damn kiln. <laughs> it was up to me the town will be gone. Strict payer of its resources. Fucking Minecraft Steve meets village style. <laughs> yeah. First that would just break every pot. Huh. He's not even huh. that huh. Ma'am, you play Legend of Zelda, you're not innocent. No, she's at this rate she's more likely to come out of the floor. Oh creepy style. <laughs> <laughs> Where is everyone again? Larnwick Market. Go through the portals. Okay. Oh, the, I can't the, see shit. Does Does Maxwell need to lead you to the portals? No, I'll figure it out. That sounds like a yes. 
Uh, the, the go to the end. Go to the go to the uh, to our room in the inn. And on the table, he's, he's going the long the way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <God> <laughs> damn it! <laughs> go to the tavern. <clears throat> so he'll be here sometime tomorrow. Cool. So he wants to have a picnic under these lovely trees over here. <laughs> to the potted plant. <laughs> you know. It's more complicated for fun, right? Where the fuck's the portal? Potted plant. Wait. I think you directly need to shove it in his face at this point. There's... Oh, for fuck's sake! Is it... Just see yeah, the board of their PG rating. There's like PG, three yeah, points in the end. From the uh, the uh, one uh, that's uh, clearly, uh, clearly uh, glowing. For the guy who was making the RPG references, he doesn't understand fast travel. I didn't say I was good at them. <laughs> I said, I mean, and I'll go to the Lawn Wick market. I said I was Okay, I hope now you know that everyone is is watching him having to escort you on stream right now. Fucking hell. And I have to, have to refresh my page. <laughs> Come on, you're almost there. It's not letting me go. Come in. on. <laughs> you you don't touch the marker. You gotta oh. touch the little bottle thing in front of it. Uh, there we go. Now why the hell is Baja? Because I can't see him on the screen. <laughs> I'm, I'm nowhere important. Also, I mean, now, I'm okay, just, now we I, lost the big I guy. Know right? We name him Ziggy. <laughs> See again, he he questions why oh, I see he wanders off. Stuck in the water. He literally wanders off. Are you stuck in the I water? I think we should start calling him Ziggy because he's always zigging when he should be zagging. Are you stuck in the water? Okay, no, you're not. All right, cool. Let's go. Oh, I tell <laughs> oh, yeah, He was hiding in the bushes the whole time. I was in the yeah, tree. He tried to found a tree that I could hide behind. And we're <laughs> professional adventurers. No, you're Man, just you're, 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 you're a wannabe adventurer. Please do not have standards. <laughs> I don't think at this point. out of our internship then. <laughs> you technically haven't even signed up to the adventuring guild yet. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Alright. So, everyone... Don't let me in with these noobs. I signed up. All right. So I think Dave is with me I there. Think of blue. I don't remember shit about a sign up. Yeah, we signed up. All right. So shall we go find these boars? All right. Okay, uh, let's go get some bacon. Also, Dave, you're just missing a cowboy hat. That, oh, Everything that's better. All I have to say. So let me see if I can get this correct. And no, I'm just gonna and it. the dragonborn's gone. Okay, this should be the right one, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Now I have a question. Yes. In Tears of the King, do you have to fight chickens? Not if you're intelligent. Don't ever. Don't. It's, don't mess. It's okay. Them, okay. Man. Do not so, mess with chickens ever. You know what cockatrice are, but you don't know what ball masters are. I'm... Fucking oh. Fable, Chicken Chaser, huh? Hey, man. Actually, Fable back. got it. So did, uh, so did both Fable and Skyrim got it from Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's right, been a thing, what, since the third game? If you attack a chicken, they basically murk you. Alright. Yeah, I believe, actually, no, I think. I think it, yeah, it is the third game. Because the second was bizarre. Yeah, just... we don't talk about the second game, Nem. <laughs> Hello, Matrix. <laughs> yeah. So it takes you guys a, a, a good, like, hour to get to the site location. In which you do encounter the boars, in which no kind of foreplay needed. Initiative time. Whoa! 
Who got the negative oh. five? Uh, negative five? Yeah, okay, that, that was interesting. That's <laughs> for a negative five. Was I the only one that saw that? No, uh, I, I... I didn't see that. I have no clue. I mean, I, I know negative five. I know Zilla has zero, so that could have been the negative five. Yeah. What the fuck? I mean, who, I think has, a, who has a negative five to their initiative? Okay, I think I know what happened. All my stats are negative five. Why? Because you said ignore the stats. The stats aren't important. Hold on. If... Yeah, but didn't... Your, your sheet still yeah, should have all your yeah, stats your at neutral. still have stats. Okay, so no, if... they're all set to negative five. Okay, if it's set to negative five, then something then... went wrong there. <laughs> so then if it's negative five and you're at a zero, then yeah, you'd be at five then. Hey, we'll have to fix this later. Yeah, because. When you're yeah. doing the shit, it all basically starts at like ten across the board. No, nope, it all started as negative five. That, yeah, so that means that's... your stats are at zero. That doesn't mean yeah, that shouldn't have happened at all. All right. E either case, players go first in the score case. So, Mouse of Ears, your turn first. I do this, and then I hit him in the face with a hammer. Which, by the way, I'm gonna pull that out so people can see the hammer. Oh, that's the TV. All right. I rolled the hit. Hammer time. That's a two. That's Whoa. not gonna hit at all. Extra attack. Whoa. That's Looks a fumble. Like Oh, joy. Here we go again. So, what happens? Okay. So because I don't like this dice, but, but it, it never <laughs> gives me any good rules. So, the most that happens is that you, you accidentally slam too hard into the ground. It's, so... If anything, your only your pride is is hurt. What pride? I've never <laughs> fucking hit anything in the first place. Let's go. Oh, my pride. <laughs> Next turn. Which, since you're the closest one. Uh, the 16 hit you. That meets it, so it meets it. All right, you'll be taking eight damage first. Uh, do I forget if boars have an extra attack or not? Uh, low level boars? No. All right, so then it's just the one attack. So then next, Hendrix, it is your turn. Alright, uh... Do your swish swish stab. Swish swish stab. Uh... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> uh, let me... Did I have notes uh, for... that's an eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm quickly checking if there was... Okay, that does not hit. Yeah, I didn't think so. Eh, that would be it for me. You have an extra attack now. Oh. Yeah, Yeah, we'll level, all of us level 3. We gained extra attack. Oh, I forgot that. Alright, uh, let me roll one more time then. 19, that That's definitely 19. hits. Alright, and I poke him for 2 damage. Poke. Next up, Alavara. Shoot the bow. Uh, uh, I'm going to go for the one in front of Hendrix because Hendrix is easier to try right. around. 
actually wait. Let me move into position. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I forgot we went to level three, so there's things I should have did. That's okay. <clears throat> I'll just have to do them. Nope. The yeah, first the Titan three. does not hit, so... Go ahead and roll again. Okay. That I will... think that hits. Yay! Yep. And it's a dirty 20, so it's, it's not a... So you don't do double damage. Alright. So, it's, uh... 1d10 or 2? It's 1d10. 1d10. Oh, plus. Twelve. Twelve damage. That hurt. I just did. Yay. Next up is Maxwell. As what is that he was able to do again? All right. He is going to do the bare minimum. Nineteen will definitely hit as he shoots out an Eldritch Blast. Nine damage. And because it's a spell, he doesn't get an extra attack. So, next up, Jack, it is your turn. Alright, let's move up. Go behind here. That, that's not how it works. Damn. Why am I fucking here? Yeah, you wouldn't be able to go through. Yeah, that, that should do. Yeah, that, that does work. I mean, yeah, oh. yeah, he could get behind it. He still has five feet of movement. Actually, you're right. But... There we go. Yeah. Does that work? Yes, yeah. now it works. Yep. Let's stab him in the rear. So, we'll attack with advantage. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's your first roll. Eight. Survey says. So that's your first roll. Roll another. You got advantage. You're flanking. Right. Sorry. That's damage. Anyway. <laughs> Come on. I, I am so rusty and yeah. hurt. 16. All right. So now, that, that, that hits. Go ahead. Now you can do damage. 7. All right. Hey, you got out the bad damage rolls and you got a good one. All right. And you have an extra attack, so go ahead again. Oh, sweet. I mean, another seven. No, I mean... Fuck. You roll another attack. <laughs> Two more d20s! No, I... Thank you. Either case, they miss. <laughs> Next is the other boar. And, and he doesn't and he doesn't like getting his butt tapped. Doesn't let yeah, it hit you, the... Jack. My AC is twelve. Alright, so it just misses. As they try to hit ah. you, they try to hit you with their tusk and it only just grazed your armor. Mount Severe, it is your turn. Well, I added a hammer so it's easier to roll damage and hit for. I'm gonna roll the hit. <laughs> 12, that. Well, you have advantage, so. Yeah, I'm rolling a second now. 17, that hits. Well, do you like what I called it, by the way? Damage push hammer time. With three. And get that extra attack, baby. Okay. Okay, so we're oh, in your damage. Whoa. Okay. 
All right. Which we'll go ahead and attack. No one. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he bit his tongue. As a. Uh, as the boar tried to do a hind, uh, hind leg kick to Hendrix, but he went too high, causing him to flip over, making him prone. <laughs> Hendrix, it is your turn. <laughs> I smell opportunity. Yes, as. Also, <laughs> made. 14 will hit. 14. <laughs> For 3 damage. And get, you got that extra attack, so go ahead. Alrighty, uh, here we go. 18. 18 will hit. Or 2. 2 more. Alright. Next up, Alara. Is there any guess as to what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to shoot them. I don't know. Don't I mean, shoot me in the sky. I mean, I mean, you could slap them with your bow. I don't know what that will do, but you can do it. I don't think it'd be helpful, but no. them. shoot them. Nine. Okay. You shoot have, again. Maybe you do I'll have, hit this uh, time. You do have an advantage since the bar is prone. Oh, okay. And it's also being flying from hit. our angle. Does it hit? Yes. Yay! 15 will hit. And that is 1d2 damage. Uh, yeah. No, 4 damage. This is a bow. Not 12. a bow, okay. And then my other action, hit again. That boar is okay. now uh, bloody. Okay. A 13... Thir uh, you can roll again. I will. I will definitely say that meets currently, so it would succeed either way. Okay. But you can roll again if okay. you want a if you want to try and get a better result. Because I do have advantage. Okay. Yeah. Okay then. No, I think it's we'll the 13. thirteen. Yep. So go ahead and shoot again. <laughs> Six. Six. Right. Nope. Alright. Which next up? Maxwell. Can you guess what he's gonna do? As you guessed it. Philly boy. He's going to cast Elder's Blast once again. For a staggering two damage. <laughs> To Jack. All right, so try to stab me its ass again. That's being metaphorical, by the way. Nat twenty. Nat. <laughs> then so, can I get max damage? He does. <laughs> okay. He scored himself a critical. As that boar takes a total of 16 damage. What's up, Nata? And he's still got an extra attack. So, go ahead again. Uh, do can I get another 20? You got a 14. All right. But that still I'll hits. So. Seven. All right. So I did a whopping tw as, twenty-three damage. As the boar is wounded. The the boar is quite confused on the amount of damage it was just given, so it's just gonna strike the person that did it. With not very staggering results. As they try to go for a headbutt and they miss. 
Well, hun but hey, but it has 100% accuracy. Not for this boar. <laughs> to mouse severe. I would like to declare a cool shot. Oh. I want to hit it in the head. Okay, wish that hit the head. Uh huh. All right. Since it's facing its opponent, uh, the other opponent, uh, roll minus uh, minus three. All right, minus three. All right. So do two d twenties minus three. Yes. Yep. All right. It will. It will hit. For a whopping eight damage. All right. And since it is a call shot, you do the damage, and for for the uh, for the next rotation, he will be. Let's see. Okay, there isn't exactly a good one. He will be stunned. For getting, oh, for getting the bomb. Again. I love these little stats. I know, they are adorable. 14 will hit. Yeah, Bobby. Oh, boy. For three damage. Oh, no. That's terrible. As that what, boar what, what is now becoming do? bloodied. Oh, no. Oh no! The board will spend its oh. movement to get itself out of prone. And, uh, sensing danger, it's going to attempt to. Wait, now it's sensing danger? <laughs> considering it's. Considering it's bleeding out, it is, it is now like, oh shit. I'd say that spidey uh, sense is a little belated. <laughs> run, I dare you, piggy. Run, yes, please. Well, that's the thing. It's it's in fight or flight. Dude. So as Dude. soon as it gets out of five feet, everyone around them <laughs> make an opportunity attack. With advantage. Uh, it wouldn't be at advantage since he is leaving everyone's area. <laughs> But the thing so is, it is, le it is leaving damage then, right? it is leaving everyone's era area. So meaning, it has to pray it doesn't get hit four different times. Okay. So everyone roll Ready? roll an attack. I would like it to roll a uh, saving throw. We all need it. Uh, saving throw. I'm using acid breath on it. Uh, I actually don't remember the stats for... It's a wisdom saving throw. It needs to be a 14. Yeah, I need... I don't remember what's the wisdom for a boar. <laughs> so, let me just, like, quickly look that up. It's not gonna be much, I can tell you that. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's, a minus, e, it's a minus... It's a one. minus one. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it takes two D six damage from me. Alright, roll roll the damage. Six. Alright. As it takes six damage, getting hit by acid, it is stopped in place because it was attacked. It was successfully attacked. And not to mention it spent Whoa. most of its movement to get up. So, Hendrix, it is your turn. Uh, there is something I need to put in the Discord chat for this. Go ahead. Oops. <clears throat> Wait, Wait I... you're going, little piggy. Oh, actually, I was going to say, if you do that, you would get opportunity attack, but never mind. The, the, uh, the boar stunned. <laughs> So you're perfectly fine. I, I agree. Thirteen. Thirteen will hit. Yes. 
Oh, wait. Sorry. That was the wrong one. Seven. Seven. Damage. As you stab, I'm guessing, are you stabbing in, like, the forehead or in the eye? I'm going through the eye. As you plunge, for the eye! As you plunge your blade into the eye of the boar, it falls and it is killed. Uh, move from initiative. And that's how. Yeah, all I can do is remove it from the initiative, so. It is then to all of our, because you, ha you can't. Flashing. Hold on. Yeah, you, you can't still move, because you, you only spent 15. You only spent 15. So. Um. Yeah, uh. I'll kind of move back over here then to kind of prevent the, this other boar from trying to escape. I mean, it's not going to be able to. So yeah, go mean, ahead but, and attack again. I'll just use up my movement there. My horny bunk definitely fucked it up. All right. Uh, 19, 19, that hits. For, for five. For five damage. As that is now bloodied, or well, more bloodied, I should say. Now to Olivar. I want to shoot the run running around. Uh, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, no, I killed it before it, it ran is, away. It is. It is out oh, of okay. the initiative order. Oh, okay. Then I am going to move up one and shoot the other one. Because I can't currently uh delete it, so. Uh, eight will be a miss. Well, there's a lot of people surrounding it. Yes, but no one is uh, right. on the opposite side. Fourteen will hit. Yeah. Thirteen Four. damage. Yay. Thirteen. As you... You draw your arrow, it plunges into the boar skull, killing it. As Boom! Headshot. combat is over, both boars are dead, though. I'm going to take a... Hey. Hendrix, you still have uh... that fancy dagger? I do. And he reaches into his pack and he pulls it out and will hold it out for not severe. I'm going to put my hammer away, pull out my book, and follow the diagram of basically taking the leather off this boar and whatever usable parts else we can take. Uh, actually, if we bleed it out, we should be able to take the whole darn thing. Yeah, I'm going to follow the book diagram on what to do. Remember, I have the bestiary book and a uh, how to, you know, collect monster parts. Uh, roll a survival. Thirteen. Okay. So, although your work is a bit sloppy, because this is your first time uh, more or less operating on a boar, uh, you don't get in clean cuts, but enough that it's it would still be classed as, uh, like, non-tattered. As well as that the meat, it shouldn't quite matter on how the meat is currently. So everything should be, Perfect. still be within a still same price range if you were to sell it off. Perhaps we should take this meat and make some travel jerky. Ooh, not a bad idea. You well, know, we are going to be on the road for a while and it might be good to have some dry rations. Yeah, but doesn't it take a couple of days to make jerky? Uh, not with magic. Oh, fair point. Maxwell, would you be able to give us a hand with this? Oh, I don't have fire magic. I'm just saying with magic, it would. I'm going to racially profile the small imp in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, like, there's, there's birds everywhere. I know. Eh. I, 
can't pick it up. Yeah, I, I, I made sure of it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I knew oh. I knew it was coming, so I, I stopped it. I want the bird friend back. Become a tamer first. I brave with cookie. Do you really want to use Doesn't... a cookie here? Mercer, don't you have like 15 cookies? I do. Yeah. So, why? Uh, but... I have five. Yeah, and he wants I to use them. He wants to... I wasted mine. Yeah, he oh, wants I think to I still have one. He wants I, to I, use I one of his cookies. Cookie for a bird. Yeah, I was going to say, are you, are you really sure you want to waste a cookie on a fucking bird? Oh, I, I want a dragon? Five cookies? You would need more cookies to get a dragon. <laughs> hey, Mercer, can I buy some cookies? <laughs> what I got? Hey, what I get in return? I swear I'll pay you back. <laughs> You're trying to I'll ask the back. Money to rock. Uh -huh. That's what they all <laughs> say. Sorry, but uh, I love you, but I've only got the one. You can buy campaign. Uh, and I wish. Wait, Ba, you have six. I gave you one of mine. I, I, I don't six see this as a, as a fruitful investment, so I'm going to decline. <laughs> for, so for, Wait, for those who on. don't know, uh, cookies are a DM to player currency that we typically use to say, hey, I know I fucked up in this situation, or hey, I really want something, so I'm going to spend one of my cookies. Cookies allow you to either make something from a fail to a succeed, or possibly cause a special special event to happen to a certain thing. Be it evolution, a reward, or just straight up food. But using it for food would be pointless because of how powerful it is. So... <laughs> But at the very least, I can probably, I can probably drain the blood from the meat. I can at least do that. Please. All right. So he approached. At the very least, if we can get some salt, so um, we could preserve it and at least sell it that way. Well, Which... we can just leave it at, uh, leave, like, uh, uh, between the two towns. And which, you see, you see, uh, red start to, uh, blood kind of starts flowing from his hands to his fingertips. As you see it's the blood kind of we don't have drain. a vial to collect the blood with. Yeah, which because there isn't anything to really contain it, the blood uh, the blood gets drained out and it just splashes to the floor. Remind me, Hendrix, to buy some vials when we get back to town. Ah. <sighs> is blood boar? Excuse me, boar blood. Is that useful for something? Uh, rituals. Yeah, rituals Sausages? sometimes. Sometimes some alchemy requires blood of a beast. And there's always sausage. Granted, the more rarer the beast, the more valuable the blood. Yeah, so you won't really be able to get anything with boar blood. Besides from... Maybe at like least a, a couple of copper. Couple copper, copper. If someone's desperate, then it's silver. But how you have to be so desperate to to pay silver for boar blood. I was more or less going to collect it to attempt to do some alchemy myself. Best to practice on expendable materials. Hendrix is just like looking back and forth between Malsevier and Maxwell, just like okay. <laughs> Whatever you two say. I think we should just, just go back to town. Slowly. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not the best to practice on on humanoid 
subjects to begin with either way, so you're safe for now. Well, on the way back, we should also keep an eye out for perhaps any traces of bandits. Might to get bonus reward on the way back. Eh, it wouldn't hurt to try to make a little extra coin. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Grill this big weepion? The fuck? Don't. Wait, what? what? I just, I just, I can see the dynamic screen says Glithers be weeping. Don't, don't worry about it. Be when weeping. He teleported us. He teleported everybody. That just yeah, don't I, worry about it. That's that stupid character name. Because I can't uh, okay. teleport. And, I can't teleport active players. It's either I teleport alone or teleport everyone. I thought that's what you changed the the name of the banana to. No, that's literally their name. Okay, never mind. It's stupid. Sorry. Don't know why that's that teleports to there, but okay. Whatever I guess. L three All right, so uh, shall we turn in our quest for bandits and uh, boar? Game, don't crash on me. Imagine crashing. Okay. Can't be me. Yep. You guys, you guys deal with that. I'll be out here. I believe we got the quest from Emma, didn't we? Did we get it? Uh, she is a bit of a represent uh, representative, so you can turn in stuff to her, and she'll turn oh, well, it right. to the guild, or at least give note of it. Damn. Okay, we did get it from Emma. I I found something? Don't don't worry about it. <clears throat> Just go to the church. Oh, he, he stumbled across a secret. Just go to the fucking church. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not Sunday. Um. See, this is where you're just picking up the piece, like, and holding it over the board, and you're just like, I'm moving you here. I'm over at the church. Yeah. Again, you you want, you know, causing me about wandering and... I didn't wander, I just... That's where he spawns! Okay, so, in, in the beginning, I, I was sort of right, but now you're, he's starting to, you know, kind of he, prove he's the more... Uh, he's starting to prove a point. ...larger wanderer. Greetings again to to all of you. Greetings, Sister Emma. I I hope that your journeys have been well. Yes, we've dealt with the uh, the boars and the bandits weren't actually bandits. Oh. They were. Uh, how do we say? Misunderstood adventurers assigned to bad corrupted guild. Hmm. That does indeed sound terrible. We've redirected them to a better guild. Well, at least they have. At least they're taking the, the corrective. Me at least they're taking the corrective measures nicely. Then. Yeah, they shouldn't be a problem to you any longer. That will be nice, especially if since they're they're. Well, I guess now adventurers again. They should be able to help with hunting, as well as defending possibly each, each town. Yes, we have the boar leather and some boar meat if you need it. Oh, uh... Well... I can turn that into the, into the guild if you wish. Since that they don't exactly open their doors to everyone currently. But if it's materials from a from a quest, they should happily accept it as well as give you payment. Well, then we have we can't currently use this leather, so take the leather and a bit of the meat. The rest we are planning on turning into travel rations. Travel rations. Yes, I'm, we uh, we intend to go on a trip soon. I might be able to help with it if you're trying to turn it into jerky. We indeed are. We would appreciate any help. Alright. Well, it wouldn't 
it won't be help from me exactly, but it sh it should be help nonetheless. Uh, Any help will be appreciated. Thank you. Uh, which, um, I take it that you'll hand her the uh, meat? Yes. Uh, as she'll go ahead and place the meat onto the altar. And um, let me go ahead. Can I... Which you'll see here that she'll start to go ahead and, and kneel and start to do a prayer. Is she really praying before the meat? I believe she is trying to ask her divine guiders for assistance. Mm -hmm. Or it could just be thanking the boars for their sacrifice. I mean, if you're asking your god to dry your meat, it seems and like which... a grievous misuse of your power. Unless your god is a god of the hunt. In which, you actually do start to see something start to take effect. In which... That is some scary looking meat in the moment. In which I don't know how I how I stop that. <laughs> there. As the meat uh there isn't exactly jerky in this. Yeah, don't so. worry about it. This will be the substitute. What Whoa. is that? A steak cutlet. Whoa! Steak cutlet. We'll, we'll say that's, that's the jerky for now. Whoa. I hope that Thank does you. help. I'm not I'm not one for fire magic, so I had to ask a higher being to help. Appreciate your assistance, Sister Emma. Anytime. Oh, she does a little curtsy. No. I will bow slightly. She just kinda of looks a little the confused, bow. just blinks twice and just turns and walks away. <laughs> If you don't understand, Hendrix, you don't need it's, to. It's not about understanding, it's about... Did she really just ask her god to dry meat? It just seems so f***ing weird. Each people to their own religion and beliefs. There are people out there that believe <laughs> dragons are the true incarnation well, of gods. Okay, but if, if gods are, are revered and all-powerful, would you ask them to do something so... Petty? I have a question for you, Hendrix. How bold would you be if you were a nigh or powerful god and you just had to sit there and watch people? Okay, let me counter your question with another question. If you were a god, would you be comfortable if everyone asked them, asked you to dry their meat? Yeah, for me, it would be something to do. Depends upon the god, really. They have different personalities, just like mortals do. Right. Maybe it was... Maybe they were bored. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm just revering gods a little too Or highly, perhaps she it, is it, seen in a very good light by their gods. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe I'm just maybe revering them a little really too close. highly if they're tasked with such petty charges. And I will also no, mention that you were given uh, 58 uh, copper for the hive. Alright. Is that 58 each? Or total? Uh, it's, it's just total. Okay. Do you want to put that on your sheet, Dave? Uh, yeah, I can carry all of it, I guess. Yeah, I, I've I'm already sorry. got a tidy sum on me. I've got like six silver on me already, so. Yeah, uh, I was going to add that to me. 
What'd you say, 58? 58, yep. Oh, yeah, I'm... I'm... I gotta do it. <clears throat> you can go on, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Yeah, I'm just more trying to remember the god's name that I had for it. Was Wasn't it Ur? The Norse god Ur or something like that? Uh, then, do I have it placed in here? Oh, Njord. Yeah. Then... So I take it that your business is done with the church? Indeed, we are good to Probably head back and meet up with the uh, caravan now. Alright, so... When exactly are they going to get here? Uh... Hendrix, do you know when they'll be arriving at this time? Uh, I believe they said it was like a few hours ago when, when before we left, so I would assume... So they should probably be uh, arriving be within the time. next hour, then. Alright, then I guess I'll just go ahead and sh sit in the shade or whatnot. I am going I to study this uh, monster fine. book. Anybody who wants to read it as well is welcome to join me. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna find a shady spot in the trees. We're just gonna chill out until uh, the caravan arrives. I am going to explore the town. See what? Hello. He found the blacksmith. Look. Yes. Yeah. It's it's not accessible. And... I'm I'm not making rooms for everything. <laughs> Do you have like, Actually, a fetish? I'm it fucking this... sounds like it, doesn't it, them? Sounds like he can't go to sleep with at least one new pointy object. <laughs> Not to mention, do you well, have a coin for like it? Them women. I mean, is there, is there like... Wait, are we gonna watch him get mugged at some point or ask to drop all his weapons before he can enter a city and it's gonna be that scene from Sinbad? He doesn't even have the fucking coin. He can't buy anything. You don't even have the coin, Jesus Christ, man! How bro are yeah, you? I'm, I'm the one carrying our our earnings from the last job. Where I'm carrying going? the earnings from the job before that, so. Yeah, so like you don't even have the money on you. What are you doing? Are you sure you have? You held on to that money, and I have not pickpocketed you. You are not skilled enough to do that, I, especially I with that you clanky armor. I know to change my my number. Of copper, I'm holding on to. Right, let, let yeah, me put it in this way: Are you brave enough to, to attempt to pickpocket the short red midget or the giant scaled Boy. one that could probably suplex you? I think the question is not brave enough, more like desperate enough. Okay, you leave your yeah, I'm asking you to shut the hour. You could now? just ask for your share. Yeah. Is this a fetish? Is this like a sexual thing? <laughs> or is I it just, just like, like a compulsion? I just like weapons, okay? Is that a wrong thing to have, like? I, I can let you play yeah. with the war pick. No, no, that's not, that's not, nothing wrong with that. It's just you seem a little on the obsessed side, dude. Dude, it, uh, you, and? you're pants and you're wearing boxes with like weapons on them, man. That, that's going too far. Oh, you're saying I, just because I like weapons, means I'm the bad guy here. We never said you were the bad guy. No one is saying so, that. I, I don't know where you're getting bad. this. We just said it was weird. All right. So an, an hour passes, <laughs> the three are chilling, reading their, their monster book, while the other, the weapon maniac is exploring the town, trying to find more weapons. He's no avail. I'm doing well with one of the with an empty purse. <laughs> I'm just poking the corpse right now. Andrew's just leaning against the. I mean, the corpse that isn't actually there. To to himself. Cough, cough. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in one of the trees reading one of the books. I, I really do like my little arcane library to carry all these books with. As the caravan oh, does eventually come through town, which you, uh, you are waved down by my van. Whoa, my van. 
I love my band. My band's cool. Still don't have an icon for him yet, cause brain dead. Oh, and, uh, uh, Hendrix, I would like my share, please. Oh, I didn't realize you guys were already here. Weren't you guys in the other town? Uh, we had a job to do around this town. So we did while uh, waiting for you to get here. Oh. I mean, you guys do seem like the adventuring type, so... Yes. We are adventurers, so, obviously. Well, some of us are adventurers. Not everybody signed up to be adventurers. I signed up. Do you have a plaque? Yes. Did I add to my sheet? Yeah, I do. My adventurous plate. I will show my adventurous plate. Yes. Hendrix is going to drop 15 copper in Jack Sands since he asked for a share. Thank you. Actually, Hendrix, I'm going to need to talk to you after about... Because I think I have my finances... Missorted. Oh, let's, let's have a look at your uh, money. Uh, I, I am heavily staring at Nem's money. Why? 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 How did you how did you get seventy seventy four silver? <laughs> Sorry, what? You, did you pickpocket? We divided up the money. Did you guys pickpocket? Did you pickpocket some rich people? No, no. Um, remember that big haul that we did? You mean what big haul? The most someone has is six silver. And that's Baha. Wait, I have ten silver, right? Because I haven't spent any silver. And that's the I money from the chest we got when we met Ma like Maxwell. Uh-huh, oh, and we it? haven't separated it out. Yeah. I put those okay. copper! It, the yeah, most silver we should have is six silver. Malsever said to, 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 take, to take the silver, and then he never told me to divvy it out. <laughs> Okay. So it's been sitting in the bottom of my bag this entire time. I completely forgot. Okay, I think I just need to figure out our, our finances. Apparently so. It, it's going to be one of those things where it, at some point we're going to have to designate one person to keep track of the finances so not everybody's trying to figure out how much they got. I'll tell you who won't be it. Me. Clearly. Yeah, because you're going to be spending most of your money on weapons. All the good ones. Don't spend all that money in one place now. Or the ones that you're probably gonna get scammed out of. <laughs> yeah, so again, probably no, after the, the session we can probably have a couple of Yeah, but like, yeah, the I mean, silver, we're gonna have to, I just never divvied it out. And such, so. Well, I've got my levels down right on my sheet, so. I, my levels are there, but I haven't there updated my character sheet stuff, so. since we started. Yeah. The yeah, game has broken down on mine. We're gonna after work here when we're done, so that's okay. I. Well, keep forgetting to sit down with Mego to get that done between sessions. Same. Uh, for what? It's, it's updating the character sheet. It literally has not been updated since the very first game, other than that seventy-four silver. When it comes to uh, skills and know, abilities, you've got to learn them from your class or go out and find them. Not you know mention, what? Uh, Here. Not to mention, I'm still kind of waiting on uh, yours and Jack's and put on what item you want. Because you still haven't come across, uh, you still haven't told me. Item? Yeah, because, uh. Special item. I know, I, I've already got my item. Yeah, so. it's special item because yeah. I wasn't able to do a session, yeah. but you guys were gonna participate. So. I got time this weekend. And my, uh, my special item is that little arcane library of mine, which holds all my books. I. I got a minor ring and a spell holding. I don't know what to want, what I want. Well, it can be an item, it can, like a consumable, it could be a one-time use item, uh, something that, a equipment that's like common grade, or a thing that's uncommon, but you scale it down. But I have like be armor restored. Can I have my armor restored? Hmm. What that wood it? buff is AC basically up to 18. Yeah, but that would be a lot of AC for the, for like, for oh, session five. Okay, how about, okay, how about this, how about this? We're at. How about at least one piece of armor? 
One Piece. You know what? Yeah, One yeah. Piece. Just that. That one's okay. more reasonable. So, if that's what you wish uh, wish to happen, then we yep. will say your uh, your gauntlets and your uh, yeah your gauntlets. They have been restored to its prior gold, making your AC from twelve to fourteen. Yes. Also, uh, Mercer, I'm going to DM you my stat sheet to show you how fucked it is. All right. I mean, I'll check. I'll check that later because it up to the session, not now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we got a lot of stuff after the session, but we'll we'll deal with it. Yeah. Well, since most of you don't have your adventuring plates, when we get to the next town, we, uh, well, next, well, city, we can. I can give you my. I can give you a. Merchants guaranteed to get your plates uh, going. Well, a recommendation, that's what it's called. It wouldn't be much, but it should always stop you from having to pay. Well, let's just hope we can get some more information out of this next town anyway. Well, considering, Indeed. well, it's not called the, the City of Peace for nothing, so you should be able to find something, since most knowledge would be there, or at least the, the more accessible knowledge is, should. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll be on your care then, my man, for this journey. No, no, no. I'd be in your care, as I cannot defend myself. That's what we signed up for. We are your bodyguards in this caravan. Then, as I heard one adventurer say, Excelsior? Yes, we'll go for that. As all of you will go ahead let me go ahead and actually roll quickly for encounter. Okay. Encounter-wise, uh, you're actually pretty good for the time being. So you guys go uh, go across the day. Not experiencing any sort of trouble at all. And which uh, I will also now roll again just for safe measure. As yep, everything's fine again. As you guys have made it to a resting point uh, as it reaches dark time. As everyone will go ahead and head there. Okay, the little campfire noise is cute. How are we doing, um, uh, who keeps watch? Well, I can hold at a least for the shifts. At least for the time being, it's a bit of like a downtime. So, okay. in, in this situation, uh, you can... <clears throat> Alright, this should be a nice place to rest up for the time being. We should... In the morning, we should be able to reach the horizon for the next place. So, I hope everyone is, I hope everyone is well excited for what is to come. I am looking forward excited. to seeing the city. Is one way to describe it.
Oh, uh, and it may be a bit rude of me, but how did how did all of you uh, meet? Since all of you seem quite diverse within your nationality. Oh, it feels like we've known each other as long as I could remember. Oh, sweet. That was a terrible joke. Although not inaccurate. I will give her that, yes. Being honest. Although it might be considered slightly misleading, we do not truly know how we all met. We it was one of those things where, bam, we were just suddenly together. More or less. Magic spell went awry. Magic spell was gone. Do you know who cast it? Nope. We're kind of at a loss in our own personal histories. We're I, I'm just hoping... gonna sigh a bit. We're somewhat hoping this city of peace might be able to help us shed some light on our personal histories. Um, not sure on personal histories, but your nationalities, at least what they have done in the past, baby. Well, hey, but I have several questions for you. Yes. One is, uh, well, how well do you know the history of this world? Um, uh, about as when I was able to read. Second question I have for you. Are you able to keep secrets? Well, I mean, a merchant is typically needing to withhold information on who a previous owner was. Then I have another question. How would you like to go into a business deal with us? Uh, that is asking quite a bit as I am a traveling merchant. We will be traveling quite a lot. And not to mention, what is it that I shall benefit from? Because protection is good, two, yes, uh, but that is going to be me. These two like to uh, talk a lot. You may have already, as you've already heard, because of magic we are together. Yes, and it seems like you all more or less have amnesia to an extent, it seems. Indeed. Any more talking and you probably would have guessed what I'm about to say next anyway. We are trying to find our past. Hello. And we have been given the arbitrary title of... Heroes, shall we say. Uh, if you're heroes, I don't exactly recognize you from anywhere. Hendricks are just strong. Well, that's the thing. Where we, we were, were found, dead. No one seems to know who we really were either. So we're at the loss. I can confirm this, because I've seen it with my very own eyes. We've come back from the dead. Hmm. I thought it was a while night of drinking. Well, if you were dead, I would have... Do you always wake up in a coffin? After a long night of drinking? You tend to end up in a lot of weird places when you do a lot of drinking. So, not to group. Not Never well. let one drink. Well, I probably would have suggested if you have amnesia, try to find a, your household, if you had one. But if you do not rec even know your own last names, it would be quite difficult. We only so remember our first ridiculous. names. Hence why I'm thinking of a business deal with you. You seem to know these lands quite well. We will be going around quite a lot. There's a lot of items that we will obtain that will be of no use to us. Perhaps you can sell them for us. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't exactly say I'm the best, at least within this region. 
and I only really you know the ground You would get to cut the it, so it's, uh, it's a win for you. You get some money for fencing our wheels. And for us, we get, well, a carriage to potentially ride in, as well as safety for some items that we may not be able to carry with us. Hmm. And, as I said, you know this land much better than we do. We'll get a guide. I guess I could help in that department. And another benefit, you'll also have our aid in loading and unloading your cart when we are nearby. We can help move your wares. Hmm. I guess it should work out. I'd probably have to stay in places a bit longer, but that's about the extent of it. See, no skin off your back and you make a little coin on the side. However, as I've stated before, I am no combatant, so I, I cannot help in we, combat. We do not, not expect, expect you to fight. Yes. As well as things do get, you know, hot, I might leave for If that. things get too hairy, feel free to retreat while we deal with the situation. We'll meet up with you somewhere, sir. Yes, defending yourself is always important. Oh, yeah. And as if an investment, a... when we have spare coin, we may even upgrade your wagon and your mount, so perhaps even your carriage becomes a mobile safe zone for you. Very but that well. lasts us down the line. Very well. Uh, if, you, if you know what will happen, at least in the future, then, then yes, I, I shall agree with them. I can only make hopeful suggestions, guesses, and predictions. Everything changes with every step we make. Well, then, then let's hope that it doesn't lead us to a trap, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if it is a trap, I will claw our way out for all of us. After all, it is the job of the big to protect the small. Then. Except that one. As I point to Hendrix, he can protect himself. Well, I would certainly hope so, otherwise it would be here by now. <clears throat> Good, so you guys come, come up with an agreement. Whoopee. Well, you're part of that agreement, aren't you, Maxo? Are you not one of us? You may not be, you know, one of us, but you are part of the group, yes? Well, yeah. Can't exactly show my face again with the others, so. And besides, at least this way I should be able to get better experience and not be locked in a cave. Why were you locked in We're the cave? Nice. Let's just say his family was not nice family. We are um, much, much nicer. <laughs> I wish to say I, I relate, but not quite. I more or less let my problems go by becoming a merchant. Ah uh, yes, the merchant solution. Ignore it, or pay it off. I mean, it's, um... it's definitely better than dealing with blabbering every hour. Indeed. If you need help uh, with this guy, uh, I might be able to help you with it. Hey, who's blabbering? Am I blabbering? Have I been blabbering? Not you. Uh, father and mother. Well, uh, yes. Always always Sorry. trying to say what is By the way, Alavar, in my experience in these last couple days, you are an elf and a woman. You tend to blabber quite a lot. I tend Hendrix towards just the like area. slowly True, turns I, his head to mouse of ear like did you really just say that? This I is the only experience I have in these last couple days. I'm staying out of this one. I, this one is, I'm staying out of this I one. I am not saying it is bad. I'm just saying you from realize, experience. 
if she were to punch you in the jaw, you would totally deserve it right now. You know this. Well, I... I'm still trying to gain social kills of uh, other species. Well, well, I'm going That's to say why I let you, it slide. you just failed it twice in one sentence. So congratulations, you you did a, a masterful job. He's like Drax. Yeah, I do. Well, I hope to strive to improve my linguistic skills in future. And I mean, to as to be a bit fair, from what I know, elves are typically recluse uh, beings, but get get on a topic that they wish, and they'll chat until someone gets tired. So technically, there's a reason why we're not right. Argument. Hendrix is just like wide-eyed staring into the fire at this point. He's like, I'm not saying anything. These guys are digging their own graves. Did I say something wrong? If it's 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 fact. It is as far as I'm it's aware. It's not something you should at least say aloud, especially in the company of another woman. Hmm? You insult the poor lady here with, with such insulting words. Insult was not my intention. I was simply stating an observational fact from the last couple of days. Thank you. And I never said it was because she was a woman. No, he said no, it was because I'm a Malsevere self. Malsevere did. Malsevere attributed it to my being a woman. Maxwell attributed it to my being an elf. Well, well, I was for both. I was simply stating that she is a woman, not the cause of her chatting. Well, it is getting late, so we should yeah, all get some. I'm done with this. I'm going to bed. Yeah. I, yeah. I shall take for a quick to watch. Can I please get behind the wall? I'll take oh, second and third. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking log. Yeah. I'm it's at least it's at least good to know it's good to know that the logs do inter interfere with you guys and not me <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna stand right here so uh mouse fear doesn't die in the middle of the night what do you mean I, I'm purposely role-playing my character that does not understand <laughs> social cues of other species just that's all I'm gonna say. I think Nev has, has, has many things to teach you about decorum and, <laughs> and, and speaking properly, especially around people of well, the Well, learned to just let it all roll off of her completely from minute one. <laughs> I may be obsessed with weapons, but I wouldn't insult a, a lady. There's lady in group? I don't, what is the definition of lady? I only see a woman. Oh! I. Oh, thank you so much. I. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. shut my that mouth. I'm nice. gonna. Perhaps shut my she mouth. doesn't shoot allies in back. She becomes lady. Oh, oh that's that's. Uh... Shut my mouth. Shut my mouth. I'm going to bed. See, like I said, uh, they are <laughs> digging their own graves, and I have shut I have given them proper warning. And I'm just saying, fuck it. They they know already what's gonna happen. And mm. and so, and so the heroes go to sleep, possibly with one eye open. Who knows? <laughs> I'm keeping my sword with me. Oh, when I go to bed, I'll I'm, sleep I'm with listening in case I, I hear someone getting stabbed. Because <laughs> they probably deserve it. As we all are aware of the fact that elves don't sleep, right? They meditate. We just oh, we're very much aware. An hour and a half. We, we, yeah. we are very much aware. So you all have a wonderful evening. After my walk, I will sleep like a baby. And oh. helpless. As anyone that did take damage. I'm sleeping comfortably, is... knowing I didn't fuck this up. 
As, as Neither did I! Anyone that did take damage will heal completely, and any mana that was used is restored. As it, as it, as it does become morning and you guys head out again. In which it's, it takes several hours, as it would then reach noon. Not noon, uh... Uh, s midday. As they're all going on across the carriage. Uh, and just to give at least a sneak peek, because I don't want to fully reveal it. Let me go ahead and do this, so I can stream my end. I mean, I'm looking on, the, on your Twitch stream, so... Well, that's just if people don't have... The, Twitch stream up or don't want to bother to. Do not have to. As. Okay. As you make it past past the hill point, there, there it is. The place that more, more than likely you will be able to get answers. The city of equals. City. Of Alonia. Ooh, you've been busy. And it's only a part of oh, it. Oh wow, you've been busy. Oh, nice job, Mercer. Question for you, Mercer. Yes. Where's where's the house that we bought last time this campaign was on? Uh, the house. Uh, that would probably. Probably be this one here, maybe, or probably even this one. We don't wow. have in a backyard area, so you did a nice job. As this is still, a I think working... the second one he pointed out had a front yard or a front garden. It looked like uh, it was a backyard, but well, I know we had if, a backyard. If that is the case, then it's one. more likely going to be this. Yeah. As the still work in progress, but as you look, you look upon the mighty walls of the city and see all the lavish buildings there. Very pretty. Whoa! You saw. Well, I have to say, I can't wait to be caught. Hendrix is kind of sitting up on the caravan, just munching on like some dried meat <clears throat> as we're wa we're seeing the the gate approach. Am I being taught morals and ethics by the elf in the back? Uh. No. Is he missing no. any teeth or a black eye? No. I mean, I have black scales, good luck seeing a black eye. I mean, it could still look bruised. As here is not only where we will end, but it also gives a glimpse to what is to come. So, although I know it was a short session, I do hope people liked it, as well as a the grand reveal of what, what is to come to a reworked area that was once around. Yes. It's my first time seeing it, so it's all new to me. Yes, for some it, it may be new, for some it is probably a, a good memory. Or at least a, a PST of what's to come, maybe. But who knows? Yeah, we, we don't have the PTSD to uh, Nick anymore, sadly. Uh, not the same one, but you have to dig deeper into his past. No, but we're we're forming new kinds of PTSD right here. No, you you don't understand. He he was incredibly afraid of women after what um C's character did to him. And again, it may not be the same PTSD, okay. but PTSD is still there. You just have to dig into it. So. I hope I hope everyone liked it. I hope those that are listening in or watching liked it. Uh, considering this heat, it's kind of harder to get out sessions as it melts my brain, and it is also kind of hard to get people oh, in as as IRL stuff does happen for everyone else. So yep, life happens, and so I'm gonna try to do these bi-weekly as much as I can, but if not, then 
you know what happens. And if anything, if I get too burned out, but I want to do a session, then I probably won't have a map, but there will still be a session just not interactable. So, who, who wants to place bets on how quick it's going to take Massive to get killed with his character floor? Uh, I take it next two sessions. Okay, uh, anyways. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. I hope everyone, so again, hopefully everyone enjoy themselves. Round of applause for our players for good, putting on a nice performance. Uh, what probably what one of them. Probably Would one of them. Direct? Probably one is going to be missing in the next session because of. Uh, Whoa! I'll be in the back rooms. <laughs> but. <laughs> but we had a, a nice players of Bahamut as Malsevere, Zilla as Jack. Nemesis Hello. as as Olivara and Dave as Hendrix. Yep. Uh, does anyone have um, any final words? I'm a die next session. You do know my name's Nemesis, right? Yeah. Nemesis, Nemesis. I. Uh. I'm the one that just keeps uh. calling a Nemesis on purpose. I just don't bother just to get things to correct. Me, so I just said, okay. It's just it's just the multiple form of nemesis, the nemesis. Just drop the S, the final S. I just can't be bothered to get things correct. But at least it's still close. <laughs> this is what happens when you main a freaking uh, you, you, you main a sork on Sotor. <laughs> you get stuck with the Darth name. Yeah, anyone All else right. has final words? Potato. Hopefully my stat sheet gets fixed. Even though there, yeah, even though there isn't really stats so sorry, currently. Mercer. I need to clean oh. up my sheet, Mercer. I am so sorry. We need to get that straightened out. We really there do. I keep forgetting. I am a bad player. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, you're, you're a fun player. I mean, if, if we go by that logic, I'm a bad DM because I'm not even complete with this area. <laughs> I, don't even have, I don't even have fucking filler NPCs yet. Dude, you did a, this is this is beautiful. You did I mean you're doing a gorgeous job, it, you really are. It took a span of a month to get most of this stuff. I'm well aware with you half the time you were going, man, I really need to get this shit done. Yes. And then I don't. <laughs> I haven't updated my character sheet since the first session. <laughs> I've gained more armor! Yes, you're not the same armor class as the person that that just has scales. No, my armor class is 16. I've, I've got two points more than him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have about the same amount as the person that had scales. I will have more one day! Hey, I'm planning on wearing <laughs> plate mail as well, so, you know. Yeah. I've, I've been Mercer, your, your mercenary DM. As I hope everyone enjoyed their time, and may the calming cold guide your heart. See you next time. Arrivederci. Bye.